Patience, you have to trust me. I promise this will work. Please continue. This is terrible. Pain breezes effortlessly off me. Any sacrifices made to my work are worth 100% of the time. This is rough. Yes, more. Uh, no. Keep going. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I never felt so Whoa. Rough. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this... Incredible. That's it. I'm free. I'm free. Oh no. That was that room. But it that we were stop. stuck in. After finishing this one. But there was a good Cody lady in it this time. Seven months and comes up with a new game. Okay. This is a wild ride. The machine. Have you guys seen that comedy skit by Bert? I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Bert K. Comedian. Okay. Bert K. Comedian, the machine or something. It's hilarious. Man, I'm glad to see you've arrived safely. You've captured the machine. I was waiting for you. Begin the interrogation whenever you like. Quick, quiet, brutal. Quick. Can I open this? God. Very good. Just be warned that some, someone called the press, so you might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine. It calls itself Coda. Oh. Oh, no. Whoa. That's creepy. Actually, a machine. And of course, it's the machine. You stopped. You stopped feeding us. Your work was keeping us alive. Your work was keeping us healthy. Not feeding us. Whoa. Stupid webcam is blocking the uh, chat. Oh man, this is terrible. Apologize for leaving. This is terrible. Did never speak to someone like this. And technically it's a machine here, but we have a little bit of context. I know how to hurt you, that's terrible. Alright, I can do that. It's still shitty. Whoa. Oh, it... Completely off. Hi, guys. My friends. That's a terrible. This is terrible. This is awful. I don't even want to read it. We are stronger than it thinks we are. We'll find a way to live without it. This is terrible. Let us pay retribution. Let us show it that we are not failures. Oh man, this is awful. Destroy everything the machine has created. This is terrible. Oh. Alright. Remember the lights flash at me. Oh. Don't scare me this time, please. Oh, it's the gun. Whoa! It's quiet. But I'll make sure your work dies here. I'll make sure you are known. Oh, 
the muted firing sound makes it worse. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his games, it might get him out maybe of Maybe he doesn't want feedback, man. He, maybe he wants to be isolated. Whoa. So, as I'm thinking this, writers. I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if I did it for it? If he you gotta get his it would make go ahead on that. You can't do that. Conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? You just support him. Be a friend, yo. Whoa, I fell through the world. So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the Slowly prison falling. escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part Can't is that they that. really loved his games. You know, the, the point of it all was just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely oh, loved his faster. work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Oh, crap. Fell into a dark hole. She needs boxed in lamp post. Down your weapon. I don't have it. Whoa. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told I that can't my work is good. Move. That I am good. When when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work. There's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something. I really felt like I'd done something good. Like, like I, can I see was where a you thought person. it was a good felt like there thing was to a do. friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like that. themselves. And I could fix it. If I could. Give this just got gift, heavy. Maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It made me feel so happy. Because you wanted so to tell him. Beautifully, beautifully happy. Um. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Okay. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, the it's tower. the last game that Coda ever made. My head might be cut off. So let's take a look. Because I'm sitting up really high up more than usual. Apologize in advance. The Tower. Oh, it's so pretty. I like this color scheme. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels it's like empty. it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. It's cool this though. Whoa. Actually has a maze in it. Ow, ow, ow. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing oh. and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. Yeah, that's crazy. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, Press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Wow. That's crazy. How punishing. 
It really doesn't want you through it. That's crazy. Fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. That would take like the invisible maze years. It's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. One five one six one seven. I have one. Wow. Already had half of it done. Crap. This is uh, turning very dark. Oh, it's stairs. Oh! But I've just fallen back onto the death maze. A lot of stairways over there. Point no return. The switch to open oh, no. this door is actually on the other side of the door. Meaning oh, no. that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges, and yeah. you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. Holy cow. And it's scary for me. The idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely. Just saying, you know, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't. And the music is the problem. Creepy. But I can open this door for you. So Very heavy. Let me do that. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? I mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. I remember, it's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew. It wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. Ha! Ah! And he wouldn't. The three dots. The ones I've been seeing everywhere. All right, I wasn't crazy. What we got going on there? I, I just felt so Whoa. strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I turned into a very selfish thing. Yeah. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Hmm. Where did I screw up? Dear Dairy, thank you for interested in my games. I need to ask you to not speak to me anymore. I am the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? Whoa! It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Oh, man. I've had goosebumps for a solid 20 seconds now. Can you see them? I'm sure you guys can't see them. They're still there.